They're making rodents their opponents. This week, Southwest Airlines became the latest carrier to crack down on emotional support animals on flights. Dogs, cats, and miniature horses are still allowed. But pigs, ferrets, spiders, reptiles, rabbits, and hedgehogs have all been nixed. Airlines suspect that since certifying support animals is easy to do online, people do it now to avoid in-cabin pet fees. Earlier this year, a woman tried to bring a support peacock on a United flight. And U.S. Airways once booted a support pig and its owner after, after it defecated in the cabin. Oh. The pig, not the owner. Don't want to be that guy, trust me. Bottom line, too many people are gaming the system, and it's not fair to people who legitimately need service animals. It's why I came up with a brand new product that could solve all this. It's a growing problem. The airlines won't let me fly with my support pig anymore. What do you mean my support scorpion can't board? How am I supposed to get to Detroit without my adorable support hedgehog? What, what are, are we, we going to do? do? Have you met Brad? He's the world's first human support animal. That's right, that handsome therapy vest means he's great at lifting people's spirits. Look, I know you're a nervous flyer, but remember, nobody knows about that thing you did on spring break in 2005, so stop thinking about it. And look, if the cops ever do find out, you'll have a whole nother adventure waiting for you. You know what? You're right! He's nurturing. Look, I know you get claustrophobic on planes, but you haven't made as many mistakes in life as you might think. I'm sure if you keep looking for him, you'll eventually find your real father. Thanks. I feel better already. And he always puts things in perspective. Hey, I get it. You're anxious because your flight was delayed. But a friend told me she thought you were cute, like Tom Hanks and You've Got Mail. In fact, you're like Tom Hanks's much less attractive younger nephew. I'll take it. Let's get on that plane. But the best part? Hello, how much for my carry-on? What is it? Oh, this is my human support animal, Brad. Oh, they fly for free. Oh, great. Oh, and ma'am, don't worry about your credit score. There's people you went to high school with who wish they had your credit score. In fact, your credit score is actually very average for someone your age. How the f*** did he know my credit score? So order Brad today. Unlike your support animal, he's allowed on every flight. Yeah. <laughs> if I had a dollar for every time I ordered Brad. Tyrus, uh, you know, the worst part is people do need support animals, but other people are gaming the system. Yeah, uh, the average flight is what? Two and a half Baby. hours to an hour? Yeah. You, you can't suck it up. Yeah. You, Sometimes I mean, so. Uh, you, you can't <laughs> just sit there and wish you were somewhere else. Like, you really, from every experience I've had, everyone else's support animal has become my support animal True. on the point. And they always sit next to you and, oh, he likes you. I don't like him. <laughs> Otherwise, I would have my own support animal with me. I think it's, it, it's gaming the system beyond. When you see someone that really needs a service animal, chances yeah. are you're going to recognize right away. But, the you know, I'm sorry, but... The bougie Kim Kardashian wannabe with her, <laughs> with her Morky in her, you know, in her hand like this and demanding her club soda. I don't really feel like you needed to have that, other than, you know, he won't commit to marriage and won't give you children. So you bought the small dog and take him everywhere to rub it in his face. Not that I've been through that, but I'm just saying. Wow, I, I didn't see where that was going. Holly, do you have a theory on this at all? I just want to know how I can get a miniature horse. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I want to take a miniature horse on a plane. I think it'd be great. Yeah, it would until it craps. <laughs> well. I've heard those aren't miniature. <laughs> right, yeah, that might be a problem. But, I, I mean, can we just get to a point where we can, we can talk to the person next to us? I know we like to put our earphones in. Mm. Yes, we do. But let's talk, to the, <laughs> let's talk to people next to us. Although, I think a good alternative could be, and I once sat next to somebody with a fake crustacean. Oh, really? Yeah, we had, we had this amazing chat for three hours about how that had become her support system for flying. And every time she flew, she wore the crustacean, and it was like a good luck charm. And, well, uh, that's good. Yeah. It's like a support fake animal. Yeah, yes. like a support fake animal. Yeah. I think that would, be, that would be a lot more comfortable for most of us. Was it a lobster? Do you remember? Or just some I kind of crawdaddy? Yeah, it was some kind of strange contraption made Not a fan made of the crawdaddy. Right. Not enough meat. Hey, uh, Kat, you seem like someone who could use a support animal every, every, wherever you go. Yeah. I know that's not a question. Yeah, I mean, I'm actually outraged by this. Yeah. 
because I think it's lizardous. Ah, you do own? Do you still own a lizard? I don't. I just think about lizards a lot. Yes. Um, which is way more normal than owning a lizard. But <laughs> I know for a fact that you can be emotionally helped by a lizard. Right. Because just thinking about lizards makes me feel better. Right. Bec and like being emotionally supported by lizards is not just possible. That is actually my plan for my 40s. Oh, wow, excellent. Yeah. You're working. I know everyone pegs me as like a cat lady, but I'm throwing a curveball, <laughs> gonna get a bunch of lizards, live in my house with all my lizards, and be perfectly happy. I can't wait. You could have them in the shower. You could. Yeah, yeah. because they're great with water. I believe those are amphibians, Greg. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Last word, Tom. Uh, I think you're too soft on these people. I don't think anyone needs an emotional support animal. Really? Great. A service animal, yes. For a blind guy, service animal, real I thing. Emotional support, it's ridiculous. Plus, they're letting too many... I can't get water on the plane. People get their pets on the plane. No way. And they're not safe. I guess I didn't... I didn't know the difference. So that the, there is a difference between service and like, like service I, animal. I mean, emotional but, support. So, but I mean, for like a veteran with PTSD, that's service. Okay, yeah, go with the vets. Yeah, but it's the regular pets. <laughs> they gotta screen them, and you need a certificate. They don't screen anything. I had a dog once. Yeah. He wasn't Al Qaeda, but he he was sympathized with him. Oh really? <laughs> you have a terrible dog. He was, you know, he was intolerant. <laughs> yes, he was. Yeah. He wanted women to wear the veil. He was ridiculous. <laughs> I don't know anymore.